this video i'm going to walk you through how to design a professional real estate flyer like this and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up again so here are the resources that i'll be using in this video and i've got a test over here as well so i'll be copying and pasting them inside of the photoshop and yeah a link to download these resources will be in the description so check it out and just so you know this video was inspired by a work that i did for a client and you guys requested for a tutorial on that the client approved it so here we go let's get into photoshop all right so here in photoshop the first thing that i'm going to do we're creating a flyer so basically i'm going to use an a3 size you can just use a4 or any other size but in this case you are using the a3 international paper so you go to international paper a3 and then you are good to go and then you click ok from here you should have a document like this one first off i'm going to apply a solid color on top of it so i go to the adjustments over there and then i select the solid color over here i've already set the color to be my foreground color so here is the hex code if you want to copy that so you move ahead and then you click ok now i'm going to be making use of some guidelines that is going to help me out so i'll go to view and then i'm going to set a new guideline in the horizontal vertices at around 47 percent so i'll click ok and then i should have this right at that place i'll go back to my resources here that i have first resource that i'm bringing in is the real estate background note that aside from these two images which are supplied by the client all these images do belong to other people and the rights reserved to them so i'll bring this particular first real estate picture inside of photoshop right over here and then i'll place it there so i'm supposed to have something like this it is already fit in the document so you don't really need to do anything you just have to push it to make sure that it is in line with the grid or the guideline that we set that will cause us to expand it a little bit so you press ctrl t and then you transform it and then you can use your arrow keys to shift this one up a little bit but you have to make sure that it is in line with this particular grid that we set so once i'm done with this i can press ctrl and then l and then i'm going to add a couple of levels on this particular one so I'll just drag it to the right side a little bit just to bring in the shades and then when I'm done with that I'll press zoom and then I'll zoom it to fit I'll go back to my view and then new guideline and I'm going to add a new vertical guideline so I'll press 4% over here and I'll click OK I'll go back to view again new guideline and then I'm going to subtract 4 from 100 so it is giving me 96% and then i'll click ok so you can see that from this edge to this particular edge it's the same and that of this side is also the same when i'm done with that on top of this one i'll go back to my resources and i'll bring in this most beautiful interior flyer that i got from google as well so i'll place it right over here and then i'm going to right click and then rasterize the layer i'll go to my blending mode and then i'll set this to overlay and then i'm going to decrease the opacity to around 30 percent but it might depend on the image that you are using you can either maintain above 30 or you can go below 30. so let me just type it in because i'm using a mouse and it's not giving me the perfect one so once i have the i'll hit on enter and then we are good to go now the next thing that i'll do is i'll go on top of these ones and then i'll go for my rounded rectangle so you can first of all try it if the edges is okay for you but this is not looking good for me so i'll delete it and then i'll go to the radius and i'm going to set this to around 150 like that so i'll press enter and then i'll draw another rounded rectangle like this so you can see it from here and then i'll double click on the layer thumbnail i'll select a white color for this one i think it is too short so i'll press ctrl t and then transform it out a little bit and then i'm going to shift this one to that side so that is the main reason why we created that guideline so that we can get a perfect side for both sides so i'll put it over here 
and now that i'm realizing that it is long so i'll close it up a little bit the more so once you're done you can drag this one to the bottom part a little bit and then you can press ctrl j press ctrl t and then you right click and you flip it horizontal so you can drag this particular one the one that you just copied to this side and then you can zoom in by holding z and then left clicking so that you can make sure that this is at the very edge of the grid or the guideline that you create so once i'm done with this this is going to be our background so you can select from the rounded rectangle straight up to the solid color that you created and then you can group that one to call it the background okay so moving on i'm going to create my heading and to do that i'm going to need the polygon tool so i'll go for the polygon tool over here i'm going to make sure that i have six sides over here so it is going to create a six sided um polygon for me so i'll go ahead and i'll zoom in and then i'm going to create a polygon now creating this especially if you are using a mouse can be so hectic so you just take your time to get a perfect one i may not get the perfect one but let's try and manage that one for this particular tutorial so i'm going to change the color to white here so i'll double click on the layer thumbnail and i'll change the color to white and then i'll press ctrl a make sure that i center this in the aligned horizontal centers so it comes just in the middle of the work that we are doing you have to understand that alignment is very important in flyer design so i hold shift and then drag this up here a little bit like that if it feels so small for you you can press ctrl t and then you can transform this out but i believe this is going to work out fine for us especially with the size that we are working on so i'm going to set this to about 70 percent so let me quickly type it in so that i can move faster so that it is going to create sort of a transparent to the background that we are having it is going to create a transparent polygon for us once we are done with that it is time to add up some test on top of this one remember that we are creating the heading so i'll go for my test tool and if you write straight into the polygon it is going to mess up with the polygon so what you do is you write at the extreme left or right beside of the polygon so that afterwards you can just take it and then you put it back to where it belongs to so i'll left click and then i'm going to use a font called bebas so i'll put a link to download that in the description so you can check it out now i'll go back to the test that i have over here and i'm going to copy the home ready and then i'll paste it once it is done i'll bring it over here press ctrl t and then center it horizontally and then i'll press ctrl t again to transform it out to be a little bit bigger like this so when it is done i'll drag it and place it right over here i'll right click and then go to the blending options and then we're going to add a couple of gradients overlay so i'll select the gradient overlay and then i'll go to my gradient i've already set the gradient so i'll give you just the hex codes if you want to use the same thing so this is the first hex code if you want to use it this is it right here and then this is the second one that is a pure yellow so they are just two colors but then i made sure that i created different color stops for instance if you want to create one you just left click over here and then it should have that one right over there so i created different color stops to make sure that these two colors will just be used for about the six or eight i think it's six colors over there so when i'm done with that i'll go to okay and then i'll set this one to zero so when this is done you don't touch up any other thing over here and then you click okay so i'll go ahead and i'm going to duplicate this test by pressing ctrl j i'm going to pull it down a little bit over here right click and go to clay layer style so it is going to clear every effect that you've applied on this one let me zoom in a little more so that you can see what i'm doing i'm going to change this particular color to black like this and then i'll click ok i'll change the fonts right over here to poppins and then i'll press enter so when this is done now understand that when you're using bebas the space within it is very small so you have to use the tab key that is why you have this fast space over here so i'm going to close it up and then i'm going to copy this particular one here a home bias mixer event so i'll copy this one i'm using the details as given to me by the client exactly 
and then i'm going to change this one to all caps so when this is done i'll get rid of this one over here press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform it out so i'm going to select all of these and then i'm going to change this one to the bold over here i'll choose my move tool and then i'm going to push it up a little bit over here let me zoom in again and then i'll press ctrl t to transform this one out to make sure that it is in alignment with the home ready so you can take the both of them and then you can use your arrow keys to push them up high a little bit and then you can adjust your polygon also a little bit like that so once you're done with this this is going to be the heading so you can select all of them group it and then you call it the heading next off i'm going to create the people that are hosting the program so i'm going to group all of them also in one group so starting right from the hosting or hosted by i'll go for my test tool again and i'm still making use of poppings so i'm going to select the hosted by over here and then i'm going to copy that one come here and then i'm going to paste it so i'll select all of them by pressing ctrl a and then i'll change the color to white i'll therefore click ok check my move tool and then i'll right click and go to the blending options right from the blending options i'm going to add a shadow to it so that you can see the white actually over there so equate the shadow around it so that you can see the test not mixed with the background so i'll click ok press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform this out a little bit and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that this is centered so right underneath of this one i'm going to create a circle that is going to host or that is going to contain the pictures of the people that are hosting this program and like i said this is a work that i did for a client and she's hosting this program so if you're around you can show her some love so i'll go for my ellipse tool right over here i'm going to hold shift to create a perfect circle something like this i don't know if i'm going to get the exact size like i got in the original work but you can head over to my instagram to check the final work over there so i'm going to change this one to white over here and then i'm going to make sure that i press this one up i push it up i mean a little bit like this so i'll press ctrl j to make a duplicate press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform it out a little bit now the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to maintain the white color above around it of course you can use the stroke but in this case i'll be using the shadow as well so you just let's move on so i'm going to change this color to any color at all just to make sure that it is separated from the white so what i'm going to do from here is i'll go back to the resources and this is the first image that i'm going to bring in so you can see that right on top of the second ellipse or the circle that we created i'll drag and drop my image right inside of it now understand that this image has a very clear fine background so i didn't really have to take time to get off the background but if you have an image that has a messy background of course you can get rid of the background first so i right click and then rasterize right click again and go to create clipping mask so it is going to fit right inside of the circle that we've created so i'll press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit so that she can appear the more like this and then i'll double click on this one from there i'll press ctrl shift and then l to auto tone this press ctrl l to add the levels to this one and then i'm going to increase the levels out a little bit so that the picture can have some serious tones so i'll click ok from here when i'm done and then i'll go back to the ellipse the first ellipse that we have over here right click and then i'm going to blend in options and i'm going to add a drop shadow to it so i'm going to increase the size a little bit like that so that i can see the shadows around it and then i'll click ok so once i'm done with this one i'm going to select from the first ellipse to the image i'm going to press ctrl g to group it so that i can have it in place and then i'm going to press ctrl j i'm just choosing to not give it a name because i'll group i'll regroup all of them later on so i'll hold shift and drag this one to the left side and that is going to be her partner that will be helping her to host this particular program so you open the second group that you copied and then on top of the image you can just get rid of it by using the delete you go back to the resources and then you bring the second part now inside of photoshop 
so just like we did for her you right click rasterize and then you right click again and then you go to create clipping mask so she's also fit straight into the ellipse you press ctrl t and then you try to resize it or resize her picture i mean and then you resize it very nicely you use the arrow keys and then you can position her right over here so you press ctrl shift and then l to auto level it and then you press ctrl l again to level it using the normal level so i'm going to drag this one to this side a little bit like this and then i'll leave it over here and click ok now once i'm done with the two i'm going to select it group it again by grouping the grouped layers don't get confused i've just grouped the two so i'm going to select the two and then i'm going to group it again just because i want to make sure that it is in the middle so i'll align it horizontally and then i'll press ctrl t to transform this one out a little bit like that so that their pictures can show out because they are doing their program okay so once this is done you can open this one up and then inside of that group i'm going to add their names and their portfolios over there so to do that i'm going to select my test tool and then i'm going to make use of a font called railway so railway will be right over here and then i'll go back to the notes that i have over here copy the first one so i'm going to paste her name and then the portfolio over there i'll press ctrl t to resize it a little bit like this and then i'm going to select only the realtor over here and change the color to yellow from here so it shows like that i think this yellow is okay and then i'll make sure that i copy this one because i'll be using it again okay so we can just use the eye picker to pick it so next off i'll duplicate this test shift it to the right side here and then i'll go back to my notes and then i'm going to copy the second person's info as well so i'll select all of this one press ctrl v and i'm going to paste that one out so i'll select from right here click on the color picker and then i'm going to use the eyedropper tool to select the last color that we used so i'll press ctrl t to transform this one out just so it can look nice over there with that of the co-host information so i can quickly add the hosted by up to this group and then you can see that we have the host group also here done okay so the rest of these ones are basically going to be test and then the information so hopefully i can be skipping some of this just don't mind me so i'm going to select my rectangle tool on top of this one and i'm going to create a rectangle here that is going to separate the host and that of the information because there are a lot of tests that we have to put on this one so i'm going to change the color to white press ctrl a and make sure that this is centerized so i'll press ctrl d to select that the first test that i have over here is the come out and experience let me just drag this one here so come out and learn the ins and outs of the home buying process from expert so i'm going to copy that one select my test tool and i'm going to use a font called acrobat this is the fourth font that i'm using a link to download them will be in the description so i'll press ctrl v to paste that one out and then i'll press ctrl a and align its horizontal centers press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit like this and then i'll use my arrow keys to push them up a little bit like this so under need of this one i'm going to have my date the venue and then the time over there so i'll press ctrl j to duplicate this one bring it right over here and then i'll select all of it and i'm going to change the font back again to poppins so i'll hit enter and then i'm going to select my date over here so 17th march 2020 and then i'll paste it over here I'm going to select the 20 alone and i'm going to use the yellow color that we use over here and then i'll shift it to the left side like this once this is done i'll go for my rectangle tool and create a rectangle from here to that side like that and then i'll make sure that this is going to be white and i'll click ok now i'll push this one here a little bit like this and then i'll go and pick my test tool I will just right click anywhere like this go back to my resources or my test and i'm going to select all of these ones copy them and then i'll go back to 
my test and paste it right over here so it is going to use the medium over here so that it is not that bold and then i'm going to change the color to the sea blue that we have over here so i'm going to select all of these and go to the toggle character and i'm going to set this to all caps and once i'm done with that i'll change this back to a semi bold over here drag it into the rectangle that we created and then i'll press ctrl t to make sure that i transform this to fit straight inside of the rectangle that we created so you can take your time and press ctrl t transform it out the more and then you push it up over here to make sure that it is right inside of the rectangle so you can go back to the rectangle press ctrl t and then you can transform this one or bring it closer like this to make sure that it is looking just fine so i'm just taking my time to resize this of course the exercise files will be in the description so you can just take this one and practice with it so once i'm done with this i'll hold shift and then select the 17th over here and then i'll group the, that one once i'm done with the grouping i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered in the middle like that and then i can push this up a little bit like this so you can see that i can rename this one to date and time and then a venue now to make sure that the time is standing out over here you can just give it any color that will make sure that this one stands out from there so i'll click ok and i'm done with that so the next one has to do with another test so i'll pick my common lane and then press ctrl j to duplicate it bring it right underneath of this one and then i'll go to the note again and the last but one thing that i'm going to do will be the rsvp so i'll go for my rounded rectangle again and i'm going to create a rounded rectangle around this side so i've already set the color that is why you are seeing it over here i'll press ctrl t and make sure that it is centered horizontally press ctrl d to deselect that one and then i'm going to push it down a little bit over here so i'll go for my test tool and then i'm going to type over here so the last on the list is going to be the logos and i intentionally brought the logos in here so that you can just get this done isa but i'm going to show you how you're going to do this in one minute so i'm going to select my rectangle tool and create a rectangle underneath of here and then i'm going to change the color to white so once this is done if you have your logo in your resources all that you need to do is you go and then you bring it inside of photoshop so let me use the first one that i have over here or perhaps this first one yeah so i'm going to get rid of all of this one i'm going to turn them off so let's assume this is the first logo that you bring in from your resources so what you need to do because this one already has the white background just right click and then you go to create clipping mask so it basically fits right into the rectangle that you just created so you can see that if i do i turn all of these ones on and then i select them and then i right click and go to create clipping mask it is going to fit straight into this particular rectangle that we created so once you're done with that you can press ctrl j and then you transform this to make sure that it fits right inside of the rectangle that you've created and then you can leave them right over here i've already centered them so you don't need to do any so you bring in the logos one after the other and then you take time to resize all of them now you group this last one and then you're going to name it logos all right so basically that's it that's how to create a very simple and professional real estate flyer for your real estate event let me know about what you think in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe i hope this video was valuable check out other real estate videos that i've done and other flyers as well that i've done thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and bye